when I can make things for the people in my life. Don't you? Let them know that I appreciate them. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make marbled ring bowls like this. I use the ring bowls to put my jewelry in at night when I'm done with it. So I keep one by my bed and I put my rings and my earrings in it. Here's what you're gonna to need to make it. Easy peasy. Kid safe lead free pottery clay, parchment paper, a rolling pin, a kitchen sponge with a scrubber on one side, a medium-sized ceramic bowl, like a soup bowl, and a smaller shallow bowl, a butter knife for cutting the clay, acrylic craft paint in any color you like, non-toxic nail polish, also in any color you like, Q-tip and paintbrushes and water. Oh, this craft will take two days because you have to let the clay bowl air dry before you can decorate it. So make sure you plan that right. Okay, first up. Take your clay and put parchment paper over it like this and roll it out, like dough. Don't make it too thin though. You want it to be about a quarter of an inch thick. Then take your butter knife to cut a circle out of the clay. Make it a little bit bigger than the size of the ring bowl you want. And take the circle and put that into the bottom of your medium sized bowl, like this. Press it down gently so it takes the shape of the bowl. And then you wait 24 hours for the clay to dry. Okay, now for the fun, expressive part, decorating. Once your bowl is dry, take it out and use the scrubber on the sponge to smooth out the rough edges. Okay, now we paint the bowl. I'm using acrylic craft paint, a very light pink, which I made by combining red and white paints. Then we do the marbling. Take your shallow bowl and fill it with water. Then add a few drops of non-toxic nail polish into it, any color. I'm using dark purple. Take a Q-tip and swirl it around gently to make a pattern. Okay, now when you gently dip your dish into the water, the bowl will catch the design, like this. Let each side dry before you do the next side. And voila, your beautiful marbled ring bowl. 
I'm gonna be making a lot of these this year. So many people to thank. I mean, it's been a hard year, right? But I am so grateful to my friends and family and teachers and neighbors. It's so great how everyone is supporting everyone. And I'm really grateful for you. Thank you for being there. Pace. Hey everyone! Today's vlog involves one of our favorite holiday activities cookie tasting! <laughs> I make cookies for friends and family every holiday season, and I just found out that this year, Ken has done some baking too. I got way into the Grand Floravian Bake Off and made baking look so intense and cool. Right? So I thought we could have a little competition of our own. We both made a bunch of different types of cookies. We're gonna put on blindfolds and guess which type of cookie we're tasting. But whoever guesses the most wrong has to wear an ugly holiday sweater. Oh, it's on. Okay, so we have swapped plates of cookies. Are you ready to try one? Let's do it. Mine's kind of curvy. I actually think it's shaped like a person. Whoa, it's kind of sticky. <laughs> Sticky, I know which one it is. Okay, <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Mmm, sour, so sour. Mm. This one is incredible. The flavor is really rich and kind of spicy. <gasps> I think I know which one that is. Okay, ready? On the count of three, let's guess. One, two, three. Gingerbread. <gasps> we both got it right. <laughs> yeah. Chelsea, what are you doing? Um. Nothing. <laughs>